Hello, I'm David Webster. I'm Chief Executive at Dougie Mac Hospice. Welcome to our dedication of lights ceremony when we will switch on the lights of our Dougie Mac Christmas tree and dedicate them to all of the very special people in our lives that we remember by taking part in our Light Up A Life campaign. This year it's the 25th anniversary of Light Up A Life and because of the pandemic I guess it feels even more poignant that we are here at the hospice, sadly unable to be at the Victoria Hall as in previous years. But nevertheless, at the heart of our community here, on site at the hospice in Blurton. 2020 has been a, a difficult year for all of us. I guess that's a massive understatement. Tough restrictions have meant that we have not been able to join together to share special times with one another to grieve together, to support one another, to celebrate in numbers. Our annual Light Up Life campaign brings us together, enabling us to pause and reflect on our many blessings and to cherish time spent with those we loved but who are no longer with us to celebrate Christmas. This year, as I've already mentioned, we're not able to join together at the Victoria Hall to share together in songs and performances from local people, but we are glad that we can, with the magic of technology, record our short ceremony for everyone at home to join in, and I guess they'll be part of our dedication of lights. Shortly, we will invite you to light a candle from the comfort of your own home, so that you too can be part of it. Feel free to sing along at home to the couple of Christmas songs, or sit back and just enjoy the music. Light Up A Life continues to resonate with all of us here at Dougie Mac. Over the years, people like you have made very generous donations to dedicate the light on our hospice tree and to remember so many people. This means that you have helped raise vital funds towards the hospice. It's therefore thanks to you that we are able to continue to provide the excellent care for our patients and families of which we are so proud and it's important that we can deliver this into the future. Incredibly, already you have donated over £90,000 and there are over 7,000 people's lights ready to shine on our tree. Amazing support, thank you. So joining me for the next half hour will be members from all different areas of my team at the hospice. We'll hear a few poems, listen to some music, and then Martin, our spiritual lead, will take us through the dedication of lights. So thank you. Thank you for joining us virtually this year. We're sorry we're unable to share with you all in person, but we do need you to stay safe. And of course, safety is absolutely paramount. So I hope you will still experience an overriding sense of peace and hope, as well as the inevitable tinge of sadness, as we all remember people who lit up our lives and whose spirit still inspires us. Thank you. Memories. Have you ever wondered, once a memory is made, if anyone really knows where that memory ends up, where that memory goes? Does it flow into our brain? Is that where memories start? If so, then how is it some memories find their way into our heart? The other morning I was walking, the orange blossoms in full bloom. When I was reminded of my grandma, they smelled like her perfume. Soon a memory popped up, then another memory would stir. And before I knew it, there was a wash of memories of her. It was as if the scent of orange blossoms opened a faucet, a spigot, a spout. And I had to smile of memories of Grandma as they came flowing out. I stood there for a while as memory after memory came to me, picking them out of the air like oranges off a tree. Memories of her stayed with me a while as I went about my day. Some lingered longer than others before eventually fading away. And this led me to wonder, as the memories of Grandma faded, as the last one lost its glow, where did the memories come from? Where did those memories go? 
Our memories patiently waiting, always nearby, hanging around. Eager to be called upon by a random smell, a sight or sound. And then I thought, I don't need to know. It's really none of my concern. Where they come from or where they go, as long as they return. I find hope in the memories, the smiles and laughter. I find hope in believing that there is a hereafter. I find hope in the friends I found on this road. I find hope in talking, sharing this heavy load. I find hope in the connection, I still feel you around. I find hope in the signs that you leave to be found. I find hope in the love that travels farther now. I find hope in the knowledge that you feel it somehow. For thousands of years, people in Northern Europe have at this time of year gathered around the fir tree to decorate it. Its evergreen nature has been seen as a sign of life continuing even in the darkest, seemingly lifeless time of the year and therefore it's been seen as a symbol of hope. For the last 26 years, we've gathered around our tree here at the hospice and decorated it with a multitude of lights, beacons shining in memory of those who have died. And so we come together again, this year via the internet, to formally switch on and dedicate the lights for our Light Up A Life 2020. We also have another symbol for our remembrance. This year, the dove, historically another symbol of hope. Perhaps this year, more than most, we need as many signs of hope that we can find in order to keep hope alive. The hope that says darkness is not the end, 
that after winter comes spring. Let's now listen to a piece of music, during which you may want to get a candle or small light ready so that you can light it when we together dedicate and light our lights of love. I'm sending a dove to heaven with a parcel on its wings. Be careful when you open it, it's full of beautiful things. Inside are a million kisses wrapped up in a million hugs to say how much I miss you and to send you all my love. I hold you close within my heart and there you will remain to walk with me throughout my life until we meet again. A single light can fulfill several functions. It can illuminate a darkened place. It can help guide us on the path and show the way ahead. It can help us mark a celebration. Those we remember today brought light to us, guided us and helped us celebrate. Although their flame is spent, their light shines on. Like the stars in the heaven, Although seemingly distant, the glow of their life reaches across time and space. And so the lights we dedicate today are a symbol of the lights they brought into our lives and of the love that shines in us for them. As our next piece of music is played, you're invited to illumine whatever light you've chosen at home. And as you release the light, you may want to speak the name of the person or people that you're remembering so that their names are heard and made live wherever you are.
So, let's pause for a moment of reflective stillness as we remember those that we love. May this tree and the lights burning brightly remind us of the renewing nature of love, remind us of the renewing love of nature, remind us of those who are dear to us. Let our light shine out. So all that remains for me is to say a huge Thank you to you for participating in this rather unusual Light Up a Life event. Um, it was uh, very important to us that we still ensured that Light Up a Life happened this year, no matter that we were doing so in the midst of a global pandemic. So thank you for being part of it. Thank you for your ongoing fantastic support for our hospice. We never lose sight of the fact that this is a community hospice massively dependent on local people and their kindness and support. And I guess finally, may I wish you and your loved ones a very happy Christmas. May Christmas bring you hope and peace as you think forward into next year where we hopefully will regain that ability to, to get together as a community and spend a bit more time with each other face to face. Thank you, happy Christmas.